Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and if you haven't been here before my name is Debbie and I'm currently doing Vlogmas where I've been uploading videos every single day of Christmas and obviously this one is 24 so it's Christmas Eve. I wanted to do a Christmas book but when I saw this book come up on Box, an app that's connected to my local library, I thought it would be a nice twist on a Christmas book. I've read a book by this guy before called This Is Going To Her and this one's called Twas The Night Shift Before Christmas. It's true stories of um, Adam Kay's time when he worked in the NHS as a doctor and I mean his first book was brilliant, hilarious, made me cry, gave me all the feels and this was quite similar. So yeah, Twas The Night Shift Before Christmas, Adam Kay, that is the front cover, I've managed to blow that one up because I haven't returned it yet uh, but now I'm gonna have to return it to be able to read you the blurb as it were. It was the night shift before Christmas. Christmas is coming, the goose is getting fat but 1.4 million NHS staff are heading off to work in this perfect present for anyone who has ever set foot in a hospital. Adam Kay delves back into his diaries for a hilarious and sometimes heartbreaking peek behind the blue curtain at Christmas time. It was the night shift before Christmas is a love letter to all those who spent their festive season on the front line removing babies and baubles from the various places they get stuck at the most wonderful time of the year. So, I can imagine there'll be some people who will be going, nope, <laughs> and other people will be going, that sounds like fun. Um, so it's 160 pages in non-fiction. It's a quite a nice short one. I think I've read this over about two days and it's in autobiography, memoirs, science and technology, comedy, health, medicine and literary collections for target audience adult. Based on some of the things that are in here, I definitely agree with the adult target audience. Um, there was a point after a couple of chapters where I was there going, why am I getting lots of sexual related incidents here? And then it was like, oh, he was on a gynae ward like the whole time. <laughs> so yeah, you're getting lots of stories from a gynae ward. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what a gynae ward is, it's gynecology. So it's lots of babies and sexual related incidents. There's lots of things of things, people putting things where they shouldn't be replacing things actually that should never be replaced. I'm talking peanut butter and uh, it wasn't a Mars bar wrapper was it? it? It was a chocolate wrapper and I was there going ouch that sounds like it should be painful <laughs> but yeah the stories are just so funny some of them. <laughs> I was internally cringing when I learned about the peanut butter and the uh, chocolate wrapper um, which were used as replacements when they didn't have any lubricant or condoms. Yes. <laughs> um, there's a lot of stuff in this book where I'm just thinking, I was not expecting to read that in a Christmas book. <laughs> but yeah, if you like um, people like sharing those kind of stories from my medical wards, I think you'll enjoy it. <laughs> and it's just a bit of a reminder of things. I think it goes over about six Christmases I think it is with the final section being the Christmas that he has at home and when you realise that in a way he was almost purposely working I say almost purposely, he was purposely working over the Christmas period I think there was one time when he was just like I think it was some sort of event that he'd been invited to kind of within the NHS and he was there going oh there's no way I'm going to end up going to this I'm going to get bleeped and amazingly he doesn't and this event that he thought was going to be a nightmare was actually not too bad and he actually got to know people outside of the hospital and he was just like oh this would be great if we could hang out and obviously that doesn't happen because you know they work in the NHS and they've got no social life um I say that <laughs> as the daughter of a retired nurse and matron and sister to a nurse as well because even in the blurb it says it's a love letter to all those who spend their festive season on the front line and I think it's very relevant at the moment especially with the pandemic and you know with talks of the front line quite a lot throughout the pandemic of the people who are working through really really difficult times and obviously it's not just the NHS that are considered the front line the NHS obviously was hit quite hard by everything so reading this just I didn't quite realize just how on the nose it was going to be for some of it because when I decided to read this book 
the fact that I was reading this after the pandemic didn't really clock in my head but it does make you think about what they'll be going through this year what they went through last year and yeah I think it's just it's just that little gentle reminder of what they are going through and what they do even though obviously there's a lot of funny stories in here as well because I mean with a book like this and this is going to hurt there needs to be a balance it's not all going to be like really sad stories um, there are going to be the funny stories in there as well and I've heard funny stories from my family members who work in the NHS obviously no names are ever used it's always just like a little anecdote of something but yeah Adam Kay's style of writing is brilliant and I love the way he does the footnotes and he's just I think there's one footnote where he says if you want to know the meaning of this read the other book and it was like oh just this once I'll tell you what it is <laughs> and the way he's like he, where he refers to the other book as well but yeah it's just it's just a good book with some really impressive funny stories but yeah my favorite one was the prank which I think is the main reason why he decided to do Twas the Night Shift Before Christmas which was where he went in on Christmas Day and he looked at some of the notes and was just like, has this patient been referred to psychology yet? You know, has, have, have they been referred to a psychiatrist? Because what is going on here is not normal. And then the receptionist does like a loud sigh. <sighs> Please reread the notes. And so he does. And he realises there's references to a virgin birth, Nazareth, the child being born at bang on midnight. And he's just like, oh, I've been pranked. <laughs> I've been pranked hard <laughs> and yeah I thought that was a really really funny story the idea of coming on Christmas day and just be like oh yeah Jesus was born last night <laughs> it's just really way it's just the way he describes the receptionist sighing and saying please recheck the notes <laughs> and I'm just like it's kind of mean and hilarious at the same time to pull that to a doctor on Christmas <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this was just a really, really good book um, with gentle reminders of what the NHS are going through, especially at Christmas, whether it's because they're working through Christmas, the things they're seeing, the fact that they aren't spending time with their families over that time. And, you know, I know that there's multiple jobs where people don't see their families much at Christmas because different jobs have different needs. NHS is one of those ones where you know that they don't always get to choose to have Christmas at home. And especially in this case where he's working Christmas shifts for six years and the one day that he thought that he was going to get pulled in was the day that he didn't actually he was able to go to the event but every other time he was just like yeah th you know this is where I am I'm on gynae I am helping other departments and obviously I'm not going to share all the stories because as a short book you know there's not that many stories that some of them are like little paragraphs, some of them are a couple of pages long, but the anecdotes are really interesting to hear. But yeah, nice short and sweet today with it being such a short book and the fact that it's not like a novel to analyse. It was the night shift before Christmas. Yeah, so we got a little song to share with you tomorrow. And then that's it for Vlogmas. Yes, my hair is wet. I washed it this morning because um, we are going out for dinner for my brother-in-law's birthday tonight. This is the beginning of December as I film this. Uh, as I like to do things in advance so that I can uh, have time to do stuff, especially because I am working. I am working over Christmas. I'm working, well, I'm not working Christmas day, but I'm working Christmas Eve, I'm working Boxing Day, I'm working New Year's Eve, and then I think I'm on call on New Year's Day. So, yeah. Happy Christmas everybody, I hope everybody's having an alright time, um, if you're not then I really do put my heart out to you and I'll keep you in my thoughts. Uh, it was the night shift before Christmas, just funny autobiography style, really easy to get through because obviously it's short st stories that he's sharing whether it's in small paragraphs and sentences to maybe like a page or two. Oh did I just slightly go out of focus there, what's going on here? Um, but yeah, happy Christmas everybody. I'll see you tomorrow for the last day of Vlogmas and then maybe I'll see you at some point in the new year. I might see you on Wednesday the 29th. I might do. We'll see how we go. <laughs> Hi!